buds gonna get the rest when the weather is cooperating. You can see the carrots, the lettuce. Everything's pretty slow this year. It's the onion. We get a couple of turnips. get any corn. Just bring it over. Yukon Golds. <laughs> Give you an idea. Nice crop this year with the potatoes. I don't know how well you can hear me, but all the tubers and stalks from the potatoes, they've got to be removed from the garden. Otherwise, uh, cause of diseases, a couple of common diseases, early blight, late blight. So, all that stuff there, all that, that's, that's going to be burned. short video. It's a uh, horrible weather. As always, take care. Thanks for watching. So this is the blue spruce. It's a little ugly looking now, but you can see the new growth, the blue needles. I had some wild rose bush that were in the uh, perennial garden here on the front of the cabin, and it took right over last year, so I uprooted all those and discarded them. I just got a couple of small ones around now, so I'll uh, probably next year I'll prune it a little more and even it out, and probably trim out around the bottom, around the base, and focus more nutrients up above here but that tree is about six feet high and uh, when I uh, transplanted it it was I don't know maybe two feet I just want to show you this pine this pine was transplanted here a number of years ago and it's way the heck up there now so just to share with you, it's Labor Day weekend, it's a busy weekend here, lots of traffic. What I did this year was I uh, took out the, uh, the lowest limbs. So, let me get you in here and show you. So, they've all been cut. And I sealed them with uh, prune, pruning uh, paint. So. Just thought I'd share that with you. It's, uh, it's a lovely, uh, lovely pine tree. Here's a better look at it. See my Labrador flag. It's going crazy today with the winds. Anyway, won't keep this any longer. Just thought I'd share. As always, take care. Thanks for watching.